So now I am looking at this world here, I am looking at you. What's coming into my eyes are just photons. What's going to my brain is just an electrical current. What's happening in my brain is just chemistry and electricity. But I experience a three-dimensional world evolving in time. Is the world essentially quantum and I experience it as classical and why is that? Well, ask yourself the same question, because the chair you're sitting on is also experiencing you in its own kind of way. There's consciousness everywhere. I mean, you can't just put consciousness in just the human brain. It's got to be everywhere. I mean, I mean, if, if, if it's a Higgs field, it's got to be everywhere. And so everything is experiencing it to some extent. Now, people who've had extraordinary out-of-body experiences, even LSD experiences or whatever, get this experience. They suddenly realize that everything has got a consciousness to it. Um, and it's a remarkable experience when you, when you have that experience. Great seers also have this experience. Uh, Lao Tzu, am I, am I a dream of, am I Lao Tzu dreaming I'm a butterfly or a butterfly dreaming I'm Lao Tzu? That was the insight that comes from recognizing that it's everywhere. The Native American Indians also have this. See, I totally that. relate to that. But sure. When I talk to physicists, not physicists like you, but you know, other physicists who don't agree with your worldview, um, they say that there are laws that apply to the quantum world and there are laws that apply to the classical world and you can't you know, shift from this to that. There's a cut somewhere. We don't know the von Neumann cut or whatever it's called. I know, we I know. know. It, so the, do the same laws of quantum physics, quantum mechanics, probabilistic laws, do they apply to the world of um, classicality, Newton's world? <clears throat> They do, it's just that once you reach the level of classicality, which means thermodynamics, which is behavior of, of heat and so forth, which is also probabilistic, or st called, called statistical mechanics, or sadistical mechanics, as some of my students would say. Once you get to that level, then the quantum world is in, encoded, but it's invisible, you don't see it anymore. Uh, everything is basically classical and it's good enough. It's good enough. It, you put a box around it and say, I stay within the box, and as long as I'm within the box, everything I have is consistent. But the minute you go outside the box, then you're grap grappling for something that explains. But we do not have an explanation for how we perceive this world no. when all that's going into the brain is electrical information, right? Even if, we had an infor even if we had an explanation, we would need an explanation of the explanation. Mm -hmm. It would be ad infinitum. There'd be no way to find a final explanation. Because what does explaining mean? Literally laying things out on a plane so that you can see a causal net relationship between events. And that itself requires somebody to look at that causal net. So whatever this mind is, it's not only, as they say, stranger than we think it is, it's stranger than we can think. Available on CuriosityStream. Watch premium factual shows at curiositystream.com.